and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Rich at Life of Sarah Rich on YouTube and Instagram for those who don't already follow me. And if you're new to my channel, please, please do subscribe as it means the world to me. I am new to the YouTube scene and it's just been such an amazing journey. I'm so thankful for everyone who follows me and for all you new guys, hi and stick around for more mum tutorials, mum hacks and everything about parenting. So today's video is going to be about newborn essentials. Now my little girl Myla is now seven months old so I feel like I wanted to do this video a lot earlier however parenting does take over your time just flies by but also I wanted to make sure that I had all the essential items now down to a T and I wanted to make sure that everything that I shared with you guys was definitely something that I would recommend and use. So to begin with I'm going to go through all the basic items that you will require. So the first item we have is sleep suits. So nice long sleeved sleep suits and I always have bought ones with the inbuilt mitts that you have. Now the second item is vests, obviously we are now in winter so you're probably going to be buying long sleeve vests which I just think are absolute perfect. I actually prefer the long sleeves than the short sleeves. So she's now sleeping in a sleep suit and this one here we've got so this is our sleep suit at the moment this one here is actually a Tommy Tippy sleep suit and it actually has legs with feet in so it keeps them nice and snug and it, just, it still has the freedom of the arms um, when they are younger, some people tend to swaddle their babies. We did try that, however, Myla liked to be free and she liked to have her arms out and about so she could move. And she actually started rolling over and sleeping on her front when she was about four months. Um, and then before that, she slept on her side. So we'd always put her on her back and she'd roll over. Um, but these are absolutely perfect. And if your little ones like to kind of move about a lot, these ones with legs are perfect for them. Again, this is the Tommy Tippy size 2.5 TOG. And they come in loads of different colours. I will link the description down below for you guys. So I just tend to put her in a long sleeve vest, especially if you're going to be using a sleep suit. Bibs as well is an absolute must. I have got the bandana bibs as well as the just standard round bibs. But you might find that you, when they're first born, that they don't tend to dribble as much, but this definitely helps if they are a sicky baby and if they do start teething early, which Myla did do, um, so she dribbled quite a lot from early on. She got her first tooth when she was three months and now seven months in and we have seven teeth. Yes, it's been a struggle. So. Again, talking about dribbling and teething, you are going to need some muslins. Lots and lots of muslin squares. But I wanted to show you this set that we were kindly gifted. So this is a lovely British company that was set up this year called Lexi Drew. They've just launched this beautiful range of um, matching muslin squares and bibs. So these are beautifully, beautifully made. They've got bamboo towel in and it's just super absorbent and so soft. But it's so beautiful that I just thought I'd share with you guys and spread the love of this small business which is absolutely incredible. So on to bath. So bath time essentials. I have this amazing towel. So we've got the cuddle dry towel which basically you put round yourself and then it has these little poppers here that you attach like 
So, it has the towel hood for the baby and it's just so soft um, with their materials. It's so perfect. Myla's seven months and she still fits into this. Bath time accessories, obviously when they're newborn, they don't really need that much, but I do recommend getting the Angel Care bath seat. I'll insert a little video for you guys now to show you how Milo enjoyed the Angel Care bath seat. Next, the bath stuff that we absolutely love. So this is the Bioderma baby range. I am such a huge fan of Bioderma anyway. I use their skincare products and, and especially when I had adult acne, my skin was so terrible it literally took up here downwards underneath my chin and i used their um their sensitive range for my skin amazing so when i found out that they had bioderma baby range i instantly got some of this this is so lovely it's a mild cleansing gel and it's dermatological safe it's incredible, it smells amazing, Myla loves it, and it's one of them that you can just, you, they can get in their eyes and it doesn't sting, which is fab. And also, I like to use their Bioderma Mislia water for the babies. So literally, if Myla gets food on her, or you know, if she's, I give her a little wipe down, I'll just use some of this micellar water with a cotton pad and just wipe it all over her. It smells incredible. I have used this on myself too. And look, she's seven months old and we use it quite often and we've only used this much, which shows that it just lasts and is worth the money. Talking about bath times, when they are uh, a little bit under the weather and if they pick up a cold, especially now in the cold weather, this Asda own brand Little Angels Vapor Bath stuff is amazing. I think it's perfect and it's got like a Vicks smell to it and it just soothes them and they can breathe a bit more better, which is great. And then the next item is like a little comforter blanket which I've got here. This is my first year's and it's personalized with Myla's name on it and has a cute little elephant at the top. I just think they are perfect. It's such soft material and it's a great Christmas present as well. If someone is due their baby, um, a good baby shower present, Christmas present for the little ones if they don't really have them. But carrying on with essential items for the baby in the evening, I think a sleep aid is definitely, definitely the best purchase I've ever made for my baby. So we have the Tommy Tippy Grow Friend. So this is the Hedgehog. I will link them down below. They have loads of different items. Um, they, these are very similar to You and the Dream Sheet and the Snus Cloud. However, we've got the um, the Grow Friend because one, I really like hedgehogs, and two, I'm not a fan of Ewan. I just don't like the look of him. <laughs> I'm sorry for those guys who absolutely love you and the dream sheep. I'm sure they're fine, but for me, it's just not my cup of tea. So this little friend is just snuggly and warm and you can see it lights up his tummy and then it has loads of different options. This also turns on when they make a noise and they cry, so it kind of soothes them straight into um, sleep again, which is perfect. Myla absolutely loves this, and we just think it's the best purchase we ever made. Obviously, if baby is gonna be staying in your room, you're going to be fine without a baby monitor. However, when they nap during the day, or if you're in a house and you have uh, have them on a different floor, you will need a baby monitor to check if they are okay and to alert you if they cry. Now, we have this Lollipop Wi-Fi baby camera. It comes like this and you wrap it round 
anything in the nursery, it could be a door handle. We've got ours attached to a wardrobe cupboard at the minute. Um, but it also comes with a stand as well and it's uh, Wi-Fi based so it can connect to your phone and you can then talk to the baby through the monitor. You can play lullabies or white noise through the camera as well and it's real time and it's great. We've been using this for a couple of months and we absolutely love our baby camera so I'll attach them down below in the description box. I just want to say to you guys um, as well, some of these items have been gifted but I have no obligation to post these videos whatsoever. Um, they've just kindly sent them as a PR sample. On to everyday use I guess, um, obviously you're going to be needing nappies and baby wipes. Now, I don't know if you know, but I recently got gifted some products from Pura. Now, these brand is brand new. They're brand new to the UK from June 2020. And these guys have kindly sent me some nappies and baby wipes. I didn't know that baby wipes contained 90% plastic. That's insane. Like they last over a hundred years before they start decomposing. Whereas these uh, fantastic brand, My Pura, have invented two different baby wipes. These ones are um, flushable baby wipes that you can flush down the toilet and they're made from biodegradable plant fibers. They have 99% water and aloe vera. There's got no perfume, chemicals whatsoever, none of that nasty stuff. Um, and they're perfectly suitable for, sen uh, for sensitive skin. Myla has got a bit of eczema at the moment and I'm really reluctant to try anything new with her, but we tried these and they are perfect. Uh, these are all recyclable packaging. The Literally everything is recyclable and biodegradable which is perfect and then the nappies probably going to be changing that baby around six to eight times a day it's a joke how many times they poo and wee i was very reluctant to try a new brand of baby um baby nappies however they're amazing so nappy related on to the next item is a nappy caddy now if you're a fan of mrs hint or stacy solomon or any 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 mom blogger out there you will know that a nappy caddy is their go-to items to store stuff so in ours i just want to show you we've got nappies we've got wipes some pseudo cream which is uh, perfect for nappy rash to switch between pseudo cream and bepanthum um both amazing products and we've got a big tub of pseudo cream and then a my little pseudo cream for on the go for our nappy uh, for our changing bags so we have the milton range so we've got antibacterial surface spray and we've also got the milton wipes um which come in handy around the house now we use the milton for changing mats for baby toys we use it for um, her high chair and cleaning everything but so this is where this comes in show you guys can you see so this is the vital baby hygiene aquant sanitizing spray now this is a water spray which is antibacterial 99.9% .9 bacteria is killed within seconds it's effective for the hands, face and accessories for babies and it's ideal for sensitive skin. Now Myla, as I said, has got eczema. This is perfect for her, it doesn't affect her whatsoever. And it basically just sprays on the item and you can use it on dummies, bottles, toys, teething toys and literally straight, straight in their mouth. So I have a miniature version of this that I keep in my changing bag and every time she drops her dummy on the floor I will 
spray it with this hygiene spray and she's fine to use it from there. So if you've been uh, subscribed to my channel for a while now, you would have seen in one of my pregnancy videos that we got given um, the sleepy head from my sister. My sister bought it for us. And I've got to say, this has been a lifesaver. Oh my God, it's incredible. I didn't think that we were going to use the sleepy head as much, but it was recommended to us and it was very beautiful. So I asked for it as a present and she kindly got it for us because they are really expensive. Definitely for the first couple of months when they're still really tiny and I just remember Myla not wanting to go into the snooze pod initially because obviously it's quite big then the sleepy head was perfect and especially for day naps when you're in the living room you can just plonk them in there while they nap so I'm contemplating whether or not to get the sleepy head deluxe grand so I think it's the next size up from nine months plus let me know in the comments below if you have an older child and you have the next size sleepy head as I would absolutely love to know your thoughts on it as we're looking into getting one at the moment uh, mine is still a little bit too young but I love this one so much I just don't know whether or not it's worth the money to buy the next size up but definitely let me know so everyone needs a changing bag so we got the matching one to our pram this is Jules and it goes with our Jules day three pram then we always carry around this steriliser for the dummy in case she goes out and about so this comes with the Milton mini steriliser tablets you could just drop one tablet in there fill it up with cold water and then I usually just attach this to the pram and then you open it up you have a dummy inside and you have two compartments here like so <laughs> obviously every parent needs to be equipped for their child getting ill but especially now in this day and age you need to stock up on your cupboard with baby essentials like cowpaw, ibuprofen um, and a thermometer this one i got bought by one of my friends who's a nurse it's the brand kinetic well-being so the one thing that i'd recommend to you guys is that if you're pregnant and you're looking to get a moses basket or a snooze or a next to you crib um have a look don't spend too much money the crib will be better in the long run however they might not take to the next to you crib straight away and therefore that's why we bought the moses basket we were actually recommended to get both so lastly is toys i just wanted to touch on them sensory play is a great way to interact with your baby and you can certainly get all the stuff that you need off of amazon we got our foil blanket from amazon we've got loads of different things that we made at home but this just makes it so much easier this is simply sensory gift they are on Instagram and they basically make the box for you. Um, so I'll show you in here. They give you these different materials, a little egg. They give you a like feather, um, a foil blanket. Already some balloons to blow up and play with. Uh, a little light up ball and also some bubbles which is perfect Myla loves playing with all of this and especially she really likes the feathers because it tickles her um, and she loves anything that makes a noise or that she can make a noise with like this or the little maracas these are little wooden maracas that I bought from Etsy I think and I'll attach the link below for you guys my sister actually got this for her quite young on um, and she really likes this because it's got crinkly 
um, wings and it also has a, a sing option but she loves this option as well um, toys wise as a newborn she didn't like much but she did like anything black or white or contrast so I thought I'd just show you guys a couple of videos that Myla likes to watch on YouTube which really helps with her sleep or it calms her down when she cries. This one is called Dancing Dots but I'll continue to put the link in the description below. Myla loves to watch Eagle Piggle in the night garden and she's such a huge fan of that. I know that there are several TV programs but she's just not really into, into like Tiny Pop or any kind of um tv programs that are on at the moment other than in the night garden um she probably will when she gets older but that is it for now on the newborn essentials i hope it was really helpful for you guys sorry if i've talked too much because i could go on all night talking about newborn must-haves she's so cute um that's it for me i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you have any questions Put them down below, message me on Instagram um, if you like a particular thing or if you found something else that is, isn't in this video, put it down below. Let me know what I've missed as I have massive baby brain at the moment and I'll make sure I can include it in my future videos going forward. That's it from me guys check out my next video which is live on Wednesday and I will see you very soon. Take care, bye!